In August of 2023, a powerful cosmic ray was detected. Its energy was 244 times 10 to the 24th electron volts, which is about 40 million times as energetic as the most powerful atom smashers on Earth can produce. What made this particle? Where did it come from? A black hole accretion disk? A merger of two magnetars? I think not. A more likely source for this particle, which we just happened to detect, was that it was made on purpose. Consider a jet engine. Fuel, which is carried with the craft, is combined with oxygen and the energetic particles are blasted out the back. It works because the oxygen is gathered for free. A rocket engine, on the other hand, has to carry both its fuel and its oxidizer with it, where there is no oxygen in space. It burns the fuel and with the speed of chemical reaction, the mass is blown out the back and the rocket is accelerated. The acceleration of mass is limited to chemical energy, which is converted to heat, which causes the atoms to move and that's what gets the spaceship to accelerate. We figured out how to use solar energy to power a cathode ray tube, which can accelerate xenon atoms. This does not rely on chemistry, but rather upon directly accelerating a charged atom through an electric field. It's a slow process, but if you're not worried about getting off a planet, if you're already in orbit, you have plenty of time. It is, from a mass standpoint, a far more efficient process. And yet, it still uses a lot of mass, and specialized mass at that. Not enough to make it possible to cross between stars. You will expend thousands of times more mass as fuel than the mass of the spaceship you're trying to transport. Not very efficient. Which brings us to the Amaterasu particle. Build a particle accelerator on an asteroid. Surround the asteroid with solar panels to power the accelerator. The closer to the speed of light you accelerate the particle, the more mass it has. The more mass the particle has, the harder it is to accelerate, so it takes more energy to accelerate it which the particle then converts right into mass. Taken to its logical extreme, if you accelerate a hydrogen ion to nearly the speed of light, you are literally making mass out of energy and throwing that out the back of the spaceship. The Amaterasu particle carried with it enough energy to be the equivalent of 255 times 10 to the 15th neutrinos but diminish the mass of the spaceship by four neutrinos. Okay, two neutrons and two protons. But that's efficient on mass. The particle had the energy of a brick dropped from waist height on Earth. It wouldn't have been the only one. Many trillions of such particles would be required to accelerate and then decelerate an interstellar spaceship. That spaceship I have dubbed the dragon. We only see a small number of these hyper-heavy particles, in part because of the size of the detector, which is in Utah and is only 1.2 kilometers across with 507 individual 3 meter square pixels, and in part because we're looking at an exhaust plume from billions of light years away. The latest particle we saw was from a local void. If you're a star pilot, would you prefer traveling through a galactic cluster or a big empty patch? I'm guessing the empty parking lot looks a lot safer. More likely, what we're seeing is a particle that didn't bump into anything along the way. Riding the dragon, the only way to get to the next star. By the way, if they did it, we can do it.